Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. The ground trembles under their tread. We have an incredible Adeptus Titanicus Titan Maniple for you guys to check out and loads and loads of knights also for, to have a look at. Um, Keith is the artist here at Siege who has worked on these phenomenal miniatures. Uh, the, all the Titans are painted in the Legio Mortis colours. We've also got in the background some uh, Adeptus Titanicus scenery which we painted for our clients. Uh, there's various scenery sets which have also been painted. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at these awesome Awesome sets of miniatures in all of their massive glory. Uh, we'll start with the Reaver. Uh, again, a really, really awesome Titan. Loads and loads of different areas of detail on these guys. Uh, as you can see, obviously, all the guns and weaponry that they have uh, absolutely dripping in sort of little details with lights, lenses, and all those areas of little uh, intricacies. The uh, the sort of missile pod on the back with those white highlighted missiles are, is really, really cool. Do love this white and black chevron in on the, on the shoulder guard as well. I think that's really nice. Um, obviously, Legio Mortis being a traitor, uh, Titan Legion, uh, they do have lots of skulls and things all on them in form of transfers. Uh, but again, just moving the model around, you can see how clean and, and really, really nicely painted these are um, got lovely subtle tonal variation on the bottom of the armor panels just to show the, uh, the sort of soot or dirtiness on the bottom of the uh, the armored sort of uh, shins um, do uh, do obviously realize the scale of these is uh, these are supposed to be absolutely massive uh, so uh, when you're doing things like sort of weathering and stuff on them a tiny little chip could possibly be like the size of a carver or a bus so you have to be very careful but fortunately these are these are done to a very very clean finish uh, as per our client request again you can see the really lovely rich red uh, that's been done on the the armor panels so that's just the first of the uh of the awesome reavers we'll pull forward one of the uh, the warlords uh, again a really really imposing miniature uh absolutely covered in little details like rivets and lights and lenses and things if you look at the head all the lenses have been done on the head if i just get that to focus for you guys um Keeps done a lovely job of sectioning off some of the armor panels and just highlighting all those straight edges really nicely. If we move around the back, you can see that awesome, awesome black and yellow chevron door on the rear of the uh, of the Titan, that access port, and all the lights and lenses all around there fully painted also, uh, just to really complement the rest of the very, very sort of epic nature of these miniatures. Uh, again, awesome weaponry on these guys. It's huge, huge, huge sort of missile launchers on the shoulders, just matching that sort of white missile head or warhead that, on, that you saw on the Reaver, but obviously on these... Uh, on these warlords also the other warlord is exactly the same slightly different color color differentiation some of the panels are painted differently they're not then some aren't chevron things like that but overall a really really awesome finish to this guy also uh, as for basing we've got like a very much like an urban kind of basing scheme that's been used on this force across all of the miniatures you can see the Legio Mortis transfers that have been added across all of the areas of the models. Again, you've got the, uh, the black and yellow chevron access door on the back of the, the Titan, which is done. Nice little details like that really add so much to the miniature. Uh, so that's just uh, the other Warlord. And then we'll have a look at the other Reaver on the other side, just so you can see that miniature uh, in its glory. Uh, another Legio Mortis uh, Reaver uh, to sort of uh, assault the Imperium. Um, if you play this game, you'll know how horrible uh, all these weapons are and how much damage they actually do. Uh, really, really awesome, awesome set of models. The metal work is nice and pitted. Uh, there's a nice tonal variation on some of the uh, the pipes and things where obviously oils and things would run, uh, which is just a really nice little bit of attention to detail that Keith has added to these miniatures. Uh, do again love the dirt sort of uh, ankles that they've got just to show the build-up of soot and sort of uh, sort of muck and rubbish that's been kicked up as this thing is uh, sort of stampeded forward as it's uh, engaging targets so that's just the other Reva then we have probably my favorite Titan which is the Warhound uh, really really love Warhounds I think they're really great in the way they look like they're, they're stalking their target or prey um, and again just uh, a really lovely resemblance of the uh, the larger sort of uh, 40k version uh, as you can see Keith's done an amazing job of just getting all the little details on these even the chevrons on some of the uh, armor panels on some of the guns they've all got the transfers same as their bigger brethren uh, but again the metal works nice and sort of pitted uh, very steampunk-esque in their sort of uh, sort of damage and dirtiness just to make them look like they've been heavily used uh, again all the, even the little lenses just on top of the vulcan mega bolter all painted and uh, uh, same on the uh, laser weaponry here as also that's on that one we'll then have a look at the other warhound uh, packing the um, uh, plasma blast gun so a very nasty nasty weapon 
but again you can see the glow there on the coils which is just really cool uh, again really really lovely attention to detail across all of these miniatures so that's the other warhound then we have a vast swathe of knights uh, to sort of accompany this titan maniple uh, moving all the way through from the acheron uh, just all the way through to the lancer as well so you've got just standard knights uh, we've got some lancers we've got some acherons we've also got some uh, some castans i believe they are as well so really really nice selection of knights pull forward some of these so you can have a look at them in more detail Again, these all have the transfers on them, but Keith's done a lovely job of just picking out every little bit of detail. Even the little uh, glass sort of lens on top of the uh, the chassis is also done. Uh, a nice sort of glow there on the sword of this one, that huge ammo hopper and ammo feed on this chap. Uh, so that's just him. Then we'll have a look at some of these lancers, which are just really, really, really cool. Uh, again, love the lancer and uh, its ability to just sort of stampede at you and impale you with that sort of massive power lance that it's got uh, so that's just an awesome awesome little model to accompany the force uh, and then we'll have a look at some of these regular knights uh, again the leader of each uh, sort of knight's sort of uh, three triarch is also denoted with the red cowling so you just know who your sort of squad leaders are so to speak uh, but that's just one of these awesome little knights and then we'll move over here and have a look at some of these Acherons, which are just really, really cool. Huge sort of flamer on him. Again, you can see all the transfers and everything fully added to these guys also. Uh, so that's just an awesome miniature. I love the huge sort of Promethean tanks on the back. Uh, obviously hidden from any direct fire as well, which is quite cool. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the other one just so you can see the consistency from model to model. But yeah, really, really lovely set of models. Uh, and then what I wanted to show was just some of this scenery because we do work on sort of scenery commissions and things like that and uh, this is just some Adeptus Titanicus scenery that's been done for our clients so they can obviously game using the scenery that comes with the, the main box uh, but Keith's done a lovely job of just weathering these up and just painting with windows uh, and just doing them to a really nice standard uh, here for us at Siege uh, but a really lovely sort of bit of terrain just sort of slight streaking and rust on different areas of the buildings um, so that's just one of the pieces if we have a look at this other one over here for example just because I can't reach to the right back uh, you can see all the little intricate little details like these fans and things all painted all the doors aquilas and everything all done uh, the little lights and things all painted and the windows done with that glass effect also uh, but yeah a really nice set of scenery to match these uh, awesome awesome titans uh, so I do hope you've liked it ever so much and uh, these guys are off now to our clients to fight a colossal colossal bad game thanks so much for watching guys see you on the next one So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.